Hi folks, welcome to the Tech Lockdown daily webcast where we'll be discussing technology that will help us all during the lockdown period and beyond. My name is Zul and I'll be your moderator for this session. Today in this episode of our webcast, we have Dato Tiaz, Dr. Haji Amiruddin Abdul Wahab, the CEO of Cybersecurity Malaysia, who will share with us on the escalating cybersecurity incidents that his agency has seen during this restriction period and how Malaysians can stay cyber safe. With that being said, I will now pass over that to Andrew, who will now begin with today's discussion. Hi, thanks, Zul, and uh, thank you everyone for joining today. Uh, and most of all, thank you, uh, uh, Dato Amarudin, for uh, joining us today uh, to talk to us about some things that I think a lot of people are very interested in. Um, that's it. Before we actually get into uh, the actual questions, I think it's, uh, it's always important to ask, how are you personally through this um, lockdown and, and what about your team at Cybersecurity Malaysia? Uh, good afternoon, uh, Andrew. Uh, thanks for having me this morning, uh, this afternoon. Uh, I'm fine, actually, and I think cybersecurity is also fine. Uh, we have, uh, I would say, a minimum staff currently working. Uh, in cybersecurity in Malaysia because of this movement control order. Uh, mm. But then I think everything is fine with us. Excellent. That's good to hear. I know, obviously, uh, a little different for you from most um, organizations because you still have to keep people at the office and things like that. Um, one of the questions that we thought about when we uh, wanted to bring you on um, was something that we know that a lot of people are asking us anyway, which is, um, are you finding that there is actually uh, an increase in cybersecurity in incidents um, that has occurred during this period of restriction. In cybersecurity uh, Malaysia, we have our Cyber 999 Help Center, and this is the place where we receive various type of incidents. Um, and uh, for the last uh, two weeks, in particular, uh, we see an increase uh, in some incidents, uh, particularly those related to cyber harassment and fraud. Uh, specifically, uh, if, uh, if uh, on the case of cyber harassment, um, in uh, January 2020, we just one month we received only uh, four, four incidents reported to us, and similarly uh, last month, uh, February 2020, uh, we received six incidents. However, uh, during the two weeks period from 18 to 30th of March, yeah, the, the only two weeks, we received seven cases of harassment and many of it related to sexual or sextortion related when it comes to cyber harassment. Uh, at the same time, when it comes to fraud, uh, the, in January, we got uh, four incidents reported to us. Uh, in February, uh, 12 cases, but in two weeks period of 18 to uh, 13, uh, 30th of March, uh, we went into it, we got 19, uh, 19 incidents reported to us. That means in two weeks, it, it increased much more than in one month period of January and even February. And the cases, uh, when it comes to fraud is concerned, is related to uh, fraud on face mask, on Dettol sanitizer, and free internet related. So you can imagine how it relates yeah, uh, to the current situation of movement control order, and also because of this COVID-19. Uh, because you know, uh, many people are using more and more internet nowadays and may, maybe use more social media, uh, online meeting application, etc., because of the movement control order, which restrict uh, our movement. However, uh, it is good to have this uh, use of technology. Uh, however, it is also important to give priority uh, to the security and safety aspects. So these are some of the, uh, I would say, issues uh, that we, we had uh, uh, at least uh, in the next last two weeks of uh, uh, move on control order from 18 March to 30th March. So now we are now I think 3rd April. Uh, we are still early, but at least we can see that there is a spike of two weeks uh, incidents mm -hmm. reported compared to the last uh, uh, one two months. 